This is the brand new Absolute 60 Fly. So brand new, in fact, that this is the first one they've ever made. So it's the first showing of this boat. It's a really interesting one to have a look at. And we're gonna go on board and do, as ever, the full tour. So we're gonna step on via this bathing platform and we'll head on this way first of all. There's a lot of the new innovations that Absolute are putting into their boats now. The first one is this freestanding furniture on the aft deck. They're starting to do this a lot now. And the idea of this is you can reconfigure this however you want it. So you might want to make this into uh, more like a dining area if you were eating here, or a lounge area as we've got now. You can just move it around rather than having to spec it when you buy the boat and say, okay, that's what I want and you're stuck with it forever. You can reconfigure this till the cows come home have that however you want. The table, of course, also unfolds at the minute. It's folded up, but those leaves flip over to make that twice the size. The other thing they're doing is doing away with the traditional transom across the back. They're putting these stainless steel and glass panels in, and that gives a tremendous view out across the back of the boat, because, of course, ultimately, that's what we're boating for, is to come and enjoy the water. So with the traditional method of having a transom across and the seats facing inwards, you lost all that connection. This is putting it back. We're going to head inside first of all. I will just show you this as we're going past it. That is a docking station at the back of the boat so that when you are stern to berthing, you can stand here, look down the side of the boat, but also guide it in to position when you're bringing it in backwards. So let's head into here first of all. Now these doors slide all the way open. We'll just open the first one, but you can see there's a second panel that comes across there as well. Now, like most absolutes, it is a galley aft layout, and it's a very sociable little area because you've got the galley here, but people can sit here and chat or eat or whatever else. That, I think, links across really nicely, and some nice views out as well because these windows drop right down behind here. You've got fridge freezer over on this side, of course. Dishwasher in behind there. All electric cooking, as you'd expect, and then this is storage in behind here and the sink up above there's a bit more up underneath here as well and as we head on forward then you've got the saloon area so again lovely place to come and relax and have a drink of an evening love this little seat they put over on this side there's a high-low TV that comes out of here and then again a load of storage across the boat in places like this And step forward again in case you're wondering what these little fellows at the top here are these are little spotlights so you'll see it a bit better if we come down underneath it like so we've got those on both sides and if we come down to here this is the helm station you've got these seats they've got lift bolsters on them that's quite useful not just so that you can stand at the helm if you wish to but also it makes it really easy to get through and use that side door if you want to get down to the side deck most of these would be owner operated at 60 foot you could have a skipper if you wanted but the vast majority would go out with just the owner operating them with his family and friends or whatever um, and then over here we've got the big screens in fact they've configured both these to cameras at the minute so we can look straight into the engine room i could do the engine room tour from here in fact look there's the generator there's the engine revolver penta ips 950 another engine over there we will go and do it properly don't worry and that one is looking out of the back of the boat that is from the flybridge that's the bimini that's over the cockpit at the back you might notice these are new as well these little illuminated vents if you've got a new mercedes you'll recognize those over here bow thruster, IPS joystick, throttles, and obviously the steering wheel. Now we'll head on down. There's a new layout that Absolute are introducing, and it's really rather clever. I've seen it on their Nevetta as well, their new Nevetta 64, which I did a video of earlier. This, incidentally, is all the switch panel for all of the electronics, so the ship systems and the shore support systems are powered from the generator. So if we come down here, what they're doing now, and it is rather a cunning scheme, is you've got like a half deck here so the lower deck is actually down here but halfway down you can turn into here and you've got the master cabin so rather than burying it right into the middle of the boat you've got it right up here in the front you're raised up you've got these wonderful massive windows with a lovely view of evening can sun's just setting it's very pleasant indeed down here at the moment and uh, yeah that is your master cabin right at the front of the boat and what they do then is they put the heads up ahead of that 
And of course, as the hull narrows as you go forward, you don't need so much space there. So you get the beam here, and as it narrows up, you've still got a perfectly nice heads compartment, like so. There's a toilet in there, of course, and then there's a separate shower area over on that side, and then storage, like so. This is interesting. This is like an upholstered finish, but then it's covered over with a sort of like a perspex. So it's very resistant to any water splashes or anything else, but you've still got that soft finish in here. I think that's nice. What else can I show you? If we head around here, there's a dressing area. I like these little shelving units they put in on the side. Again, you can see that covered upholstery sort of set up across there. That's rather smart. Let's go back down here because there is a walk-in wardrobe just here. A safe in here as well. You've got the rails here for your clothes. And then there's a pocket door that closes that up. Okay, we'll head on around a little bit further. What we'll do this time is we'll head down to that lower lower deck, if that makes sense. So I'll say we're on a kind of a half deck here. The main deck is up there. We came down these steps, but we're going down again. And this will take us down to two more cabins. And what you've got here, in fact, is a really nice cabin too. It's a brilliant size. In fact, that feels like a master cabin. It's that sort of quality and shape to it. Big windows again. That's an opening porthole, that one there. So you can get a bit of ventilation in here if you want it. And some nice finishes. I like the way they've done this with the dark high gloss wood and then the light matte finish underneath. That looks really smart. That's a little vanity area there. And you've got the blinds that drop down over the window, of course. And if we come back over here, then this is the heads. So you've got toilet, you've got the sink, some lovely finishes on here as well. They're really up in the game with this sort of stuff. And then in here is the shower area. And again, we're seeing it's very much an absolute thing. These pocket doors that slide across so you don't lose the space that a door that swings in would take up. And there's one more thing to show you in here, which is rather cunning because as you've got that raised area up there for that master cabin, which you can see through there, as that's raised up, what you've got here is another big wardrobe, but with a door in it. It's a bit like Narnia, this, isn't it? That's going through the door in the back of the wardrobe. And check this out. There's a massive storage void because this is underneath that uh, master cabin at the front of the boat. So you've got loads of room for stuff, but also a lot of the engineering areas, like these tanks, for example, you can get to those in here very easily as well. Plumbing, that kind of thing. That's quite nifty use of space, that. Let's reverse back out of there, close Narnia back up. Am I showing my age talking about Narnia? Close that one over. So that, as I say, is an ensuite cabin. And then we have another cabin here, cabin three. Bear in mind this is a 60 foot boat. They've got some pretty decent sized cabins in it because this one, it's a twin cabin and you have got the full headroom all the way through here. Like so. Fantastic. This is a wardrobe over on this side or a hanging locker. Somebody asked me once, what's the difference between a wardrobe and a hanging locker? And actually, I think I'm right in saying that a wardrobe is something you have at home. It's a freestanding bit of furniture, whereas a hanging locker is built into the boat. So that isn't a wardrobe, although it looks like one that is actually a hanging locker. There we are, a bit of trivia for you there. And what you have then is the day heads is down here. So of course, cabin three at night would come out and use this one. So they've got their own heads. Everybody has their own facilities to use. And that's got the shower in there as well. Lastly, I think we've had a thusly for a while, have we? Very nice. Okay, so that is the accommodation, and it is quite a nifty layout, I think. But let's go and have a look at the decks, take in the flybridge as well, and then there's a crew cabin to show you, and the engine space. So, out through here, side access door. This one's also got a little opening section here, so that if you're alongside a wall, you can step straight out. That's rather clever. And then we'll go on round, and this will take us out into Evening Can. 
Oh, how lovely. I do like Cannes. Lovely, entertaining space on the front of the boat. Now, you can see that this one cantilevers, and the idea of that is you can bring this back, drop it down to here, make it a big sunbathing area if you want. That's why it's got these areas here for it to rest onto. Cup holders on here as well, and pop-up lights. And there's a stereo in here too, with the speakers on either side. Let's go right around to the front. You've got your anchor winch here and your chain and so forth. And that's how she looks from here. Let's carry on round. It's a bit of a good show of absolutes here. We recorded three of them today. This is the third. You can see there's more of them over here. That's the new 48 coupe over there. Got a video of that. It's an interesting boat. So watch out for that. It may already be on the channel. If it's not, it's coming soon. Let's go down here. I like these overhangs that they put on here, but I also like the fact that they've upholstered them underneath. They've actually used microfiber, so it's a waterproof material. But it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Oh, hello. Someone's turned the volume up. <laughs> Let's carry on. And uh, same deal underneath here as well. You can tell it's the evening. Everyone starts to cut loose. Let's go on up here. You obviously saw my glare. <laughs> Love the way they finished this across here. What you've got in here, this is a little bar area, is there's a fridge in there. And this one's got an ice maker as well. And this is a barbecue. I don't know why they had these things on here, but they do. That's the actual barbecue underneath there. And that lid, of course, will come down like so, and the sink. And then up here is the upper helm station. So this is where you drive when you're outside on a lovely day like we've got today. So helm's person here and navigator next to them. But lots of room for the people to come along and relax, sit out on the sun beds, sit around here. Really nice social area. <laughs> More music. Oh, well. I think someone's demonstrating the hi-fi system. Let's ignore that and move on. Speak a little bit louder. You've got your multifunction display up here and your uh, Volvo Penta display. And then we'll come on back this way and you've got a big entertaining area around here. So you can sit out here and dine. This one's got the hard top on it as well. And again, we're seeing this loose furniture being used. So this they're keeping completely open and you can put whatever you want up here. What's interesting with these, in fact, is that if you take, because these just slot out, these little fellas here like this, and if you take those out, that's actually, you can see the wood underneath. These are Velcroed on. That's a little coffee table. That's very adaptable. It's cunning stuff. And that area there is for a life raft. You've got the extending blind out the top and something else. I think I am right in saying, in fact, I'm sure I am. I thought it's on another one. You see these tracks in here and you see how you've got these little sockets in the floor here. The idea of those is that you can actually put blinds in here, like, like sort of semi-solid blinds that will slide open. And then you can put sections in all the way around and enclose this to have an enclosed upper deck. And in fact, the other thing to mention about this hardtop is this is covered in solar panels right the way across. So you've got extra power there from the sun helping to drive some of the charging and electrical systems. Anyway, let's carry on down. Let's have a look in here. I've no idea what this is. Oh, it's quite a decent bit of storage in there. So we want to look at the crew area and we want to look at the motors. So to do that, we're going to come back down here. This is this lovely open cockpit area. And then we'll come down here. I just thought I'd lost Maggie then. <laughs> She's over there taking it easy. And then down here, this you can open up. Like so, that lifts up. And this takes us down into a crew area. Or you could even use this actually as an overflow cabin because it's quite a decent size. So you've got a bed that goes across there. Washing machine in here as well. That's another little opening porthole. And then on the other side, you've got another bed there. Now, as I said earlier, these are normally owner operated they're not really a crew size of boat but nonetheless it is there if you want it um, or as an overflow for, uh, for for guests the other thing you've got in here is the uh, toilet compartment there's a shower in here as well and there is a blind that comes across like that and if we head forward again there we go this takes us into the engine space And what we find in here is 
with a pair of Volvo Penta IPS 950, 725 horsepower each. Now we're a little bit sketchy on performance on this one simply because it is an absolutely brand new boat, it's the first one they built, so we don't have fuel flow figures yet, we don't know the range. I'm going to guess they're normally circa 250 miles for this style of boat, as I say we don't have figures yet. We do have performance figures, they've had about 28 knots out of this one, it's a very high spec model because it's the first one they put everything on it, so you might get a bit more out of a more lightly loaded one, and cruising 15 to 25 knots, so pretty typical performance for a boat of this size and style. You've got circuit breakers and electronics in here. You've got fuel filters in here, as you can see. And these have got a changeover on them, so you can run on one without to block up. You can flick over to the other and keep running while you change the other one. That's fuel tank. And there's another one of those over here. That is something to do with the air conditioning, and I know that because it says air conditioning switchboard on it. I can't see much more than that, I'm sorry and the other engine is down over there. And the other thing we have in here then is the generator. So that's down underneath there. And I'm wondering now where that camera is that we were looking at this area through earlier. Where's that hiding? Ah, found it. There you go, it's that little badger up there. Fantastic. This ladder here gives you direct access up to the cockpit, but we're going to go back out the way that we came into the little crew area. And out. So there we go. Always exciting to get onto a brand new model. Always exciting to see some of the new innovations that are coming out. And this boat, I think, is a great example of that. Really interesting to see. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we will catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.